What is up guys, it's Shu here, bringing you another review on Seven Senses of the Reunion. This episode definitely had a lot going on, and we finally have some news as to where is Nozomi. In other words, the last member of Subaru. But this episode starts off with kind of like a fan service. Uh, if you guys are a fan of Satsuki, which I am, and a fan of Asahi, which I'm not, you would enjoy the little beach scene where they see themselves enjoying. Uh, but they are on a quest to find uh, Pleiades, or Pleiades, how we ever pronounce it, uh, Haruto's previous sword. And they find themselves having a difficult time. Uh, they encounter a Wilda, who apparently is some kind of pirate scavenger, or a scavenger, I don't know what you would call it, uh, basically giving them a lift. Uh, and when they are find, trying to find it, uh, Asahi was the first one to kind of get a hint as to where it could be. They end up going there and they find the sword, or they think they have found it successfully but of course nothing is that easy and they are they basically summon the uh, agir or agir however you pronounce it uh the water dragon that was basically protecting the sword and they have a hard time defeating it uh, of course uh, they almost lose asahi on the process and they find out that clive is also there clive makes an appearance and helping them of course uh, we're not sure as to the nature as to why he's there, not until later in the episode, uh, but we see that he helps them out, and once they escape or leave uh, the water, uh, Clive disappears. Uh, but in the real world, we have uh, all Takanori, uh, Satsuki, and Haruto talking about, you know, what has been going on lately. They kind of give each other an update without really wanting them to know uh, the butler <laughs> reveals to uh, everyone that nozomi has returned to the city and hopefully they are able to make contact with her so in that respect they have good news and they share the news that clive has returned and we see a flashback of subaru back in the day where everyone was being surrounded it seems as though uh, they defeated a boss that no one could and we have Clive saying that he wanted to leave and because he wanted not to lose, but he also wanted to go up against Subaru one t uh, at one point, uh, which makes sense if that's really still his goal. Uh, we see kind of that act at the end of the episode, uh, but we we go back into the virtual world and we see how Clive has joined them. Uh, they are able to work together and. Uh, with all four of them teaming up using their abilities they seem to have frozen the dragon uh, wilda is there she is surprised to see clive now that to me is of importance because there was that moment where wilda was didn't stop talking she stopped talking and she kind of looked like she knew what clive was up to could it be that a wilda is actually uh, knows me that's just a possibility uh, it could be that it's Alasia. I thought that that's what it was uh, up until this point. But we don't really know if Nozomi's already been there and why a Wilda gave that look. Or it could just be my imagination. It could be that a Wilda was just kind of like setting them up. It could be that she's in on this and that she's just, they're working together of some sort. But we have them trapping the dragon. They freeze everything and... We have Haruto reaching for the sword, and all of a sudden, we have him being stabbed literally in the back by Clive. Uh, but as this happens, we see Asahi, her eyes glowing up as if she had the prophet art acting at this moment. And she's like, like really just exasperated. She's breathing hard, seeing the blood from Clive's knife. Uh, she's really having a tough time, which leads me to think. Is she like feeling this way in the real world or is this some kind of like, I don't know, connection to some sort uh, that it's making her feel this way? But it looks like Clive is betraying them or he's fulfilling what he said many years ago where he wanted to go against Subaru or specifically Haruto. So it's definitely looking as to betrayal happening and we're maybe going to have a better understanding as to the current state of Asahi's body right now. Like what is happening? I feel like there's some experimentation has been going on. 
but something is happening to her and hopefully we get to see what happens next week uh, but overall it was a very interesting episode with a lot of development but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below i'd greatly appreciate it and as always guys stay safe and i will catch you